Uh, welcome guys to this channel and in today's video we'll be talking about how to start crypto arbitrage in the Binance exchange all by yourself. In recent times we've seen companies, we've seen individuals come to tell people we want to help you do arbitrage and pay you when you give us your money we give you percentage and at the end of the day you see people crying because it never works out. This same arbitrage they promise to do for you, you can do it all by yourself. And that's what we'll be learning today, how to start crypto arbitrage in the Binance Exchange. Now we are currently in the Binance Exchange. Let me show you around first before we continue with that tutorial. If you don't have Binance account, I'll be dropping the link of how to get Binance account right at the description of this video. You can check it and get registered and begin arbitrage in the Binance Exchange all by yourself after watching this tutorial. If you're logged in now into your Binance Exchange, you will see some certain areas that we're going to be showing you now. Let's look at this icon that has a human avatar. If you click there, you will see that I am verified. You need to verify your account before you can do transaction reasonably in Binance. Binance has made it so easy for you to verify your account. You can verify with a driver's license, with a national ID card, with your voter's card, even with your BVN. And this lecture is applicable to everybody wherever you live in the world. It's not tied to some certain region. In as much as you can transact in Binance in your country, you can apply this tutorial to your area and make profit doing your arbitrage. If you look here as well, you will see a toggle there. That toggles between the Binance Lite and the Binance Pro. But I like to advise you to stick with the Binance Pro because it has a lot of features that you'll be learning gradually with time. So we are back to the Binance main page where you will see all the icons there that you can think of. Now in doing arbitrage, arbitrage has to do with buying low and selling high. And that's what we'll be doing here. And in this tutorial, we'll be dealing with this future, the P2P. So if you open your account and you cannot find P2P here, you will need to click on more and check the various drop downs that will be coming out from clicking more and you might find P2P at the extreme end. Now below here, you will see your home, you will see your marketplace, you will see your trades, you will see futures you will see your wallet we might not be touching all those things but it is necessary that i show you around in the course of your doing your arbitrage you might need one of these things especially the market and the wallet so for you to start your arbitrage you need to go to p2p or the peer-to-peer -peer future which is where we are now before you begin your arbitrage work you need to buy because it's all about buying and selling you need to buy the dollar and you need to sell the dollar you buy low sell high now there are some certain things you need to consider while you're buying you need to consider the vendors these guys you see here that are selling they are all vendors within the binance exchange all of them are selling their crypto they must have bought some time and now it's time to sell so you will notice that as you buy and you sell you'll be getting some little little profit as time goes on but to begin your transactions, you need to consider the trust core, which is the rating of these vendors, the rating and the trades they have taken. For instance, if you look here, you see this vendor has 100% trade score. The second one has 92.20 and has about 4,585 trades. This man has very few trades, but he has 100%. And the next thing you need to check is the limits that this vendor is able to sell. This is his limit. He's selling between 4,000 and 5,721.99. And this is his total asset that he has. So if you're buying more than this, you will not be needing this vendor. And this other vendor as well, you check, is selling between 6,000 and 36,000. So if you'll be buying from this vendor as well, need to buy within that ring. This is what it has in stock. If you'll be buying more than that, you will need to check another vendor or you buy the quantity that the vendor has to sell. If you scroll down, you will see other vendors 
who are selling at different limits and you will realize that the more the money you're buying with the lesser the price of the token for instance if you need to do this the easiest way to do it is to filter which is here you go to filter check it out don't forget that your arbitrage that you are doing we are going to be doing it with tokens that are not very volatile like the usdt and the busd these two tokens they are not as volatile as other tokens that you can find there within the p2p future so if we filter you will now be able to ask the system to check for you according to your specification let's say for instance you want to buy a crypto of uh, let's say four thousand in naira it's applicable to all countries you can use your currency there and uh, here you have um, all banks all region and then you click on confirm it brings you what you can see here this vendor is willing to sell for four thousand this vendor too is willing to sell for four thousand this vendor is willing to sell for four thousand this vendor is willing to sell for four thousand but check their prices and check their rating their score rating i would prefer to buy with this guy that has a hundred percent score rating and uh, his price is cheaper so we're going to click on buy and then um, we're going to click on we cannot buy from this fellow. This fellow have sold out. He has a balance of 1,800 uh, left for him to, to sell. His own is quite cheap and uh, people always rush to buy. Let me filter again and see the best price for 30,000 Naira. If you check the price we're buying for, we readjusted the price, check. Now let me show you two things here. If you look here, you'll see Express and the P2P. The Express here, if you click on Express, Binance will themselves pick their own verified vendor. For instance, let's impute 30,000 as uh, what we want to buy and uh, Binance is giving us this price from the vendor they are sending to us 738.59 you might not always agree with their price that is why you need to toggle between the express and uh, the p2p so this is the price Binance is giving us this very price here 738.59 is the price 738.59 so that is the cheapest we can find there we might decide to go back to express or just stick to p2p to buy what we want to buy so let's click on buy right we wanted to buy here but i discovered his rating was very poor and so i want to go with uh, somebody that has a higher rating bc has a higher rating his rating is about 97.9 so we'll go with this guy we'll enter what we want to buy 30,000 naira most times I prefer to go express because Binance themselves will select the vendor that will deal with you. So we are going express, but you can still buy through the P2P future. So we'll click on buy without fees and uh, Binance is telling you you will receive this and the price at which you're buying is 738.58. So we click on confirm purchase. So you click on confirm purchase we will be redirected to another page where you see all these futures see chart which means you can chart the vendor and then uh, you see down here where they say make payment and you can watch a little video here if you are confused you always see a video there where you can watch and then um, you see the amount you're paying which is this 30k and the price at which you're buying and this is the order number and this is a message reference number this message reference number is what is supposed to appear as your narration your bank transaction so you click on make payment and by now tells you that this transaction takes 13 minutes for it to be consummated or it will reset back to cancel if you scroll up you see all the details of the vendor is shown here his bank account his bank the branch and uh, everything there is stated the reference message is here he said do not indicate anything binance in your narration for safety reason so now that we've gotten this information you go to your bank and make payment you come here and uh, copy the account number the bank is a uh, paycom or op so we click and copy it say copy successfully 
now we are in our banking app where we'll paste the user's information you confirm the name fortune and uh, the name has been confirmed and uh, you click on confirm you now enter the amount you're paying we say 30 and then there's a place where they say add note we have to go back to binance and copy this reference number or reference message I'm gonna copy it and we'll return back here and paste it we pasted the reference number and then the next thing you click on next to make the payment transaction sent we've sent the transaction now we can go back to Binance and then you now click on transfer notify so we'll click there and notify them that this seller has been paid so we are expecting this value in our wallet you can now proceed to chat up the vendor that you have paid for the crypto to be released to you you can see warning from Binance you need to pay attention to every report there we are messaging the vendor to tell him that we have paid when once you click on transfer notify Binance takes hold of the cryptocurrency that is in the vendor's account and keep it in an escrow account pending when this transaction is complete and it will be released so it's very secure no one can place smart one on anybody here because Binance is in between you can see information here you see if you have paid contact the counterparty which we have done you can see the information here from Binance say you have marked this transaction as paid wait for vendor to confirm the release of the asset by the corner here you can see automated messages from Binance where you can just click and send I have paid via assigned payment method please check and confirm so let's pick this please send me payment details for order so uh, we are going to click this this is what is applicable to us so we can go back you can see the vendor has replied here your payment has been received the asset USDT will be sent to your account so our payment has been received and we're going back now to go and check our wallet so whenever you're transacting here you will always notice you have spot wallet and the funding wallet there are two things here all transactions that are done through p2p will come to the funding wallet so if you come to spot wallet you won't see it here you will see it at funding wallet so we'll go to funding wallet to check if the money is there you check and you see you are being credited with the figure that we bought now if you check your mail Binance will keep sending you reminders that your time is almost up that means you need to speed up with your transactions before it is cancelled so now that we have received our USDT you need to take note of the price at which you bought it is time for us to position ourselves for our arbitrage to make some money out of what we just bought so now you toggle the sell button which is here and find out the price of usdt as at today so if you look here you see this very fellow here is selling for 738.07 and his limit is 10 million to 50 million this other fellow is selling for 738.06 and his limit is 13 million to 50 million so these guys will not be able to buy from you because of their limit they have a limit if you don't have crypto worth this value don't approach them to sell you see that you go to express to sell or you can still sell in p2p locating the vendor that can accommodate what you're willing to sell but the key to this transaction now is patience you need to be patient because all these guys you see selling they did not buy today they bought some time passed and today they are selling so if you want to sell you need to be patient and monitor the market to see how the price fluctuates if it goes up you can make some money if it goes down you can begin to lose some money as well but since you are not selling you will not be losing your money your money will just be waiting for whatever whenever price goes up and that is the beauty of this if you are patient you will not lose money doing arbitrage in the binance exchange you might be wondering do i have to remain here checking the price from time to time no there's a provision for that you click on this bell icon here where you see a dollar sign and you can set price a lot we are going to set price a lot for sale we bought at 738.55 so we want to sell when the price hits 763 and then you can now create price a lot you now click here to create your price a lot you can toggle how many times you want to be allotted once only once every 24 hours every two hours frequently you just select what you want and then you create your alert 
you will be alerted anytime the price of USDT hits 763 and you will be making some profit out of what you bought for 738.55 when it gets to 763.99 you'll be alerted to come and transact this little little uh, profits you are making you rinse and repeat continuously daily as you're monitoring the price you can set various price alert if you have bought crypto in time past and uh, today the value is measuring up you can do so by selling and that is how you make money little by little and it will amount to something great this is crypto arbitrage in the binance exchange you can do it all by yourself you don't need to send someone to help you do it so that's crypto arbitrage for you stay tuned and uh, follow our tutorial as we bring you more tutorials like this on how you can make money in safety without fear of losing your money i remain your presenter an nelson bye for now as you like our video and subscribe to our channel see you in our next video and bye for now